Okay, Zinedine Zidane makes a surprise return to the Bernabeu after being so strongly linked for so long with the Man United job for next season. He's returned to the Bernabeu in Real Madrid. Uh, he, the club he left 10 months ago, citing us for, well, no one really knows why he left, but he decided to stand down. He had you know, done great things in the Champions League, won lots of trophies, decided to walk away from the club 10 months ago. It's believed there's a lot of egos in the dressing room. There was too much political infighting with the club and, and the federation in Spain and within the club itself, and he walked away. And a lot of people couldn't blame him. Um, but throughout this entire season, he's been strongly linked with the Man United job. Now, obviously, Solskjaer is doing his thing. Uh, those calls have sort of cooled, but he's still linked with the Man United job, and then this happens. But the interesting thing is Mourinho, uh, in the last few days, has been strongly linked with the Real Madrid job because Florentino Perez, the club president, has come out and said Mourinho is one of the candidates on the list. So it's, bit, it's been a bit crazy uh, at the Bernabeu in the last 10 months. Uh, so we've had three managerial changes. So Zidane walks away. Uh, Real Madrid decide to approach the Spanish coach Lopetegui, Julian Lopetegui, just before the World Cup and announce him as their, their guy for when the World Cup ends and, and depending on how far Spain get, he's going to be the guy put him put in place. He then gets sacked from the Spain job before he even takes up the Real Madrid job two days before the tournament starts, which is showing the political infighting within the Spanish Football Federation. Uh, Hierro takes over as the Spain coach on an interim basis, so that's showing all the chaos. Uh, there. Um, Lopetegui gets sacked after a, a less than satisfactory start to the season and Ronaldo is obviously sold to Juventus for 105 million euros. Lopetegui is obviously sacked. Uh, Santiago Solari, a former player and former coach at the club, uh, comes in. Uh, and obviously last week they lost heavily to Ajax in the Champions League, which was the death nail in his coffin. They, they're, out, they're, they're out the league title race for La Liga. Barcelona is seven points clear, Atletico is second. I think Real Madrid were at one point as low as eighth in the league this season, so they had a very slow start the season. And by Real Madrid standards, this is a shocking season. By any other club standards, they've had such a long period of success, you're going to have a period of lesser success. It's a cyclical thing in sport. You're not going to win every year. Some years you're going to have to rebuild and retool. Uh, that's not tolerated at Real Madrid. You cannot have a down season at Real Madrid. The fan base is, is one of those fan bases that has a very toxic element which demands every season that you compete every season. They cannot have an off-season where they're retooling and, and refreshing the squad. You just have to win. Um, uh, so the, the fan base is demanding. That's, I think, led to uh, Santiago Solari getting the chop and Zidane coming back in. But this reminds me of when Zidane and Solari themselves were playing at the Bernabeu about 15 years ago in that great, well-known side of under under of performers, the Galacticos, um, whereby they had all these great players, all these great individual talents, and they could not do much in both domestic and European football. Other clubs were winning trophies, which Real Madrid uh, claim as their own, such as the Champions League and La Liga and the Copa del Rey. They were being beaten up by teams like Valencia, Villarreal, um, you know, Celta Viga. Some of these mid-table Spanish sides were winning domestic trophies in Spain, and then in, on the European continent, actually in the Champions League, they weren't winning trophies either. So AC Milan, Liverpool, uh, I think you had Man United in there. There's been a variety of other European clubs from a variety of European leagues ups usurping them from Germany, England, Spain with Valencia, uh, Italy, and they weren't winning in Europe. And it was due to the fact they did not have stable management. And I think Zidane should know this, that he was one of the most stable managers that Madrid have had in recent years after Mourinho. He stayed there for a good three seasons, won the Champions League every season he was involved. It, it's a no-brainer. So it's very, very interesting, the, the behind-the-scenes dynamics of Real Madrid. There is a toxic element to this club, I have, I have no doubt on that. Uh, the politics are poisonous in Spanish football. And Zinedine Zidane, that's one of the reasons why he walked away. So it's very interesting that he's come back. Very, very interesting. Um, we'll have to see what happens. We have to see what happens with Gareth Bale's future. There's rumours about his future at the club. But he's this is the, th the, th the third manager this season and the fourth managerial change in a year because he was the manager who stepped down. It is mad, absolutely mad, um, that Zidane is back, considering he's stro so strongly linked with the Man United job and Mourinho has been so strongly linked with the Real Madrid job in the last couple of months, respectively. Absolutely mad. But there we go. Zinedine Zazan returns as Real Madrid manager. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your thoughts below. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.